And hello everyone! The last weekend in Sucedes there were two world competition rhythmic gymnastics where some of the best gymnasts performed. In this video, I'll tell you the first results, what happened there, and also we'll find out what Arena sisters are doing now. In Romania, the Challenge Cup started in the city of Klasnapoka on October 15th. Here, the gymnast scored points in the all-round, uh, in individual and also group programs for the first two days. The first place was taken by Brianna Kalein, the best gymnast in Bulgaria. In general, it seems to me that that after the Olympics for gymnasts who did all the way through to it, it is much easier to perform emotionally now. Although Brianna couldn't perfectly do all four apparatus, in the ribbon she made a drop and there was also a small exit from the platform. The silver medal was won by Italian gymnast Milena Baldassari. Moreover, after the first day, she was the, on the first place. And considering that there were Russian gymnasts ahead of her, there was a small chance that she would be able to overtake the gymnast. But her Olympic calmness and high difficulty in the ribbon allowed her to take the second place. The bronze medal was won by Daria Trubnikova, a gymnast of Russia. Most likely she was sent there for gold, like Lala at the Grand Prix, but unfortunately it didn't work out. And this is certainly not a bad thing, it's a good experience and Daria is a great gymnast. Unfortunately not everything worked out, perhaps nerves are the reason because Daria lost the ribbon when leaving even before the start of the exercise. And then there was a loss already in the exercise itself, and also a small exit from the platform with apparatus. Most likely it wasn't very noticeable, but judging by the scores, the mistake was recorded. Irina Aninkova took the fourth place and remained without a medal, despite the fact that she didn't make gross mistakes, but it wasn't possible to fight with a gymnast who participated in the Olympics games in the all-round. But it's still possible that it will work out in the finals of a separate apparatus, since Irina passed to the all of the finals. The fifth was Bulgarian gymnast Tatiana Valajanina. At that moment, Tatiana is the second number of the national team after the end of the career of Katrin Tasseva. Well, we root for Tanya as for our own, despite the fact that she competes for Bulgaria. The sixth place was taken by Andrea Verdes, a Romanian gymnast, and right behind her is another star of Italian national team, Alexandra Agergiculeza, unfortunately. Not everything worked out for Sasha, and probably, in general, we can conclude that Sasha has problems with stability, despite the fact that she has an amazing energy. Sasha makes mistakes which lowers her in the ratings. The finals of individual separatists will be held on Sunday, so it will be interesting to see how medals will be distributed here and which gymnast will be able to move the participants of the Olympiad from the podium. In the groups, the Italian team won gold, Germany won silver, and France won bronze. Well, now we're moving to Marbella, the stage of the Grand Prix is taking place here. It will last for two days, and here on the first day, the gymnast performed with four apparatus, just in one one day, and in fact, this is like at the Olympic Games. The golden medal was won by undisputed leader Lala Kamarenka, breaking away her closest rival by almost three points. Lala's performances won 12, but with losses. The second place was taken by Victoria Naprienka, a gymnast of Ukraine, and I have a feeling that after the Olympics she pulled herself up a lot, despite the fact that not everything was done successfully. Apparently, Victoria will approach the World Championships in an even more powerful state. Another Russian gymnast, Anastasia Simakova, won bronze medal. It will be interesting to see if Nastya will be able to win gold in a certain apparatus. Sofia Raffaelli, an Italian gymnast, took fourth place at the Grand Prix. Sofia unfortunately had mistakes at the story. So we probably didn't see her at the place from which we usually see her. Also, here's a funny fact, we already expect high results from Sofia, although she's still a very young athlete. Ekaterina Telesnova took the fifth place compared to the leaders. She lacks complexity, either she releases something or she's just cautious or it just doesn't do something initially. It's hard to say, but Ekaterina is amazing anyway. In the group exercise, the gold medal was won by Bulgarian team, silver by the gymnast of Belarus and the bronze by Spanish team. Well, those who saw the list before the start of the competition probably have questions about where did Alina Harnaska and Anastasia Salas disappear. Alina wrote in her Instagram long before the start of the tournament that she was withdrawing from the competition. She didn't explain the reason, but the fans immediately assumed that this is an injury. So let's hope that if it is the case, it's not serious and she will recover by the world championship. As a matter of fact, Anastasia Salas wasn't the 
medalists and had to perform until noon, but as a precaution she was removed from the competition. Apparently something not serious happened, but Anastasia decided to take her. After all, the world championship is already around the corner and they need to be as healthy and in a good shape as possible and probably you can sacrifice a similar competition. And it must be said that these are not the only gymnasts who were withdrawn from the competition. Spanish gymnast Salsa Salon also withdrew from the tournament due to the knee problem. She is also announced for the world championship and most likely also being reinsured. From the positive side, I'm glad that the girls are taken care of and not burned out as much as possible. In the meantime, the world gymnasts go to tournaments. Averina's sisters train their skills before the world championship in Moscow. Novogorsk hosted the Novogorsk Autumn competition and within the framework of this tournament, Dina and Arena will do their programs. Something interesting here is that there are some very cute and emotional shots of Dina and Irina Alexandrovna Wiener behind the scenes before the performance. Well, maybe it seems to me, but the feeling is that at the World Championship we'll see new letters from the Avarin sisters, or it's me just not recognizing the old ones anymore. So we are looking forward to it. There is just a little time left. Already on October 27th, the gymnast will begin to compete in Japan. Write in the comments which tournament you follow and who you support and whether you watch tournaments or find the results from my videos. Well, see you in the next video and remember that I love you all very much and bye bye!